Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn. This is what to bring on a trip to an Airbnb. Now, an Airbnb can be really nice because it's like a home and not a hotel, but the thing that you must remember is then you don't have room service. So the night that you get there, you're probably gonna be really tired. It might be dark out and you're not necessarily gonna wanna go drive around and you don't know always if places are open, especially if you're like me coming from New York City everything's open really late but here in Sedona Arizona things close at 8 o'clock so ordering takeout is not an option if you get here at 10 o'clock at night um, so it's really important to bring some food and refreshments and this is some of what we brought we've already eaten some of it but I just wanted to show you some ideas of things to bring so we brought iced coffee in a cooler I also have these coffee packets these are other coffee options that you can get the Starbucks coffee packets or the taster's choice there's a uh, little tubes of honey in there we did bring creamer that is in the fridge and then over here I have mini um, organic peanut butter snacks from Trader Joe's and then you'll see I the dish belongs to the house, but I put a bunch of little snacks in them. So these are Parmesan cheese things from the takeout, but I'm gonna keep them in my travel pack. And this is a Slim Jim kind of thing, but a healthy version of that. Some organic um, fruit wraps, some little M&Ms, like little packets are good because then people can snack. Um, if you have kids, you might want something sweet for them some um, granola bars, we've got healthier fig bars, sardines, crackers, applesauce, um, mixed nuts. These are from Harry and David, which does gift baskets. I sent my mom a gift basket. And yes, my nails are a wreck because I've been hiking in the desert, so I'm doing things out here. Some um, of this wild yellowfin tuna in the little packets, those are great. It's protein on crackers, little lemon wafers from Trader Joe's, any kind of cookie that you like. These are great because you can just microwave them when you get here and you have um, lunch or dinner. That's my dog in the background. Sorry, she's grumbling. And Moxie, quiet, quiet bear. And the crystal light is great. You can always just make a big jug of lemonade with water in those, and those are sugar-free. We did bring some canned foods, but I like to bring the ones that are, um, they open up real easily at the top, just in case there's not a can opener. There usually is. This Airbnb was really good. It had everything we needed, but you just never know when you get there. Um, Cause you don't know if, if the host isn't at the house, um, there could have been a person before you that took the can opener and they didn't leave it, you know, by accident. Um, we also brought some um, like 90 second rice and some lentils and the first night we had 90 second rice and um uh indian dish uh, uh, indian like one of these things similar but a different flavor over top that we got here first night we had that so just all kinds of things like this but of course your preference of those types of things um and we did bring a cooler they do have a microwave and a teapot here so you could have brought tea we didn't bring tea um I'm gonna show you what we brought in the fridge. So we had um, my mom's birthday up here and my brother and his girlfriend came up. They brought that cake in a different cooler. You don't have to bring cake if it's not a birthday. <laughs> but they brought that great Trace Lake J cake. But I'll show you what we did bring. We brought these um, Vita Waters Zero Sugar. The condiments were already in the fridge. A lot of places do have condiments, but I would bring little condiment packets. Like that's why I'm keeping these Parmesan thing, cheese things, because just in case like you want ketchup or mustard, the little condiment packets are great. They had this coffee creamer, but you don't know if they're gonna have that. So we brought this little small one um, and some seltzer and water. That ginger ale kind of thing was already here. We brought these little travel hummus packets. So these are great. These are great. Cause you can just eat, you know, you can carry this anywhere on a hike. They're very small. It's like a serving size. We brought some kind bars and here, let me dig that. Kind bars and Reese's peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. Put them in the cooler so that if we take them on a hike. We also brought these cooling towels from Amazon. I'll link them below. That's what they're called. So keep them in the fridge. They have a carabiner to go on your hiking bag. And when you get hot, I have three of those. We brought, bought, brought almond butter from Trader Joe's. 
Um, you, probably, you might not need all of this stuff, but you know, it does save you money on going out to eat and then you don't have to get in your car. We brought um, <laughs> facial packs. Because <laughs> my mom and I are like having like a spa girly weekend. We brought some bread from Trader Joe's. Um, there was butter already here. Or, I, or maybe we brought that. I'm not really sure, but there was butter already here. We brought pub cheese, yogurt. My mom brought her wine. We brought tons of water, bring tons of water. Coconut water and food for the dog. Salsa in that bowl. And then over here we have a bunch of carrots and snap peas from Trader Joe's, which are, carrots are great with the hummus or just by themselves. And then here we have one of these that my brother and his girlfriend brought up for the little party we had. But that was nice. So if you like that kind of stuff, get something like that. And then there's this really good cheese that I've been eating with the crackers. So that's in the food section of what you might bring up to an Airbnb. Um, you don't need all of this. Don't stress yourself out. But at least have um, snacks for if you get stuck in the car cooling and ice things for if you get stuck in traffic my brother and his girlfriend got stuck in traffic so like it's important to have gatorade or water or whatever it is you like to hydrate with you know um seltzer really cool and like cooling packs and ice we do i think we might have stuff in the freezer we have moxie's cooling vest so if you have a dog we have our cooling vest and ice in the freezer and we have all these little ice packs so that's for moxie if she overheats and it's kept in the cooler um so we had that in the car just in case she overheated like if we had to stop or if the air conditioner went off or something you know prepare for the worst hope for the best that's what you do so i just want to show you over here other things that we brought um and this is like you're going to need sunblock you're in sedona you're in arizona it's 104 today the sun is always out you need a hat which i have here a big sun hat and sunblock and after sun lotion and um, things like Benadryl itch relief for bug bites, um, cortisone cream and Benadryl pills for, you know, if you have an allergic reaction to something you eat or some, or just, or getting bit or something like that. And then this is like to keep the mosquitoes away, but it also repels, um, there's flies here and it definitely repels the flies. When you get to an Airbnb, there usually is a book that has all your directions. You can see this one has a red hook pass in it. There's portable um, power banks, but we brought that stuff. We brought a flashlight light. We brought portable power banks. We brought that stuff just in case the host doesn't provide it or the guest before took it by accident because that can happen when you're packing up. Um, we also brought that fruit. The fruit bowl belongs here. We um, brought those napkins and the chips and it's good to bring a roll of paper towels but the, they did have them here and they have all the spices and everything, but not everybody has that, um, you know, so check the list. Now, um, I always bring a trash bag just in case. The actually housekeeper came and brought us trash bags last minute because they were out. So that can happen too. So do bring a trash bag because you want to remove your trash. Remember with Airbnb, you get reviewed too. This is um, a little place where we are. Of course, bring hand sanitizer. This is the actual place we're staying, just in case you want to stay here in the future. And we went to Tal Que Paqui um, Art Shopping Village, which is in Sedona, and it's really cute. It's right near here, and it has all these artistic things. And um, you're going to want to look up um, on your Airbnb usually, but also in the area, like Sedona has pink Jeep tours and all kinds of art. So it's like a combo of like artsy as well as outdoor adventure. So it's a really good combo, especially for couples vacationing. This is the pretty Airbnb. What else can I tell you? Um, we brought the binoculars. We did bring, um, I have my own towel. Um, Moxie has her own towel. I'm gonna show you the dog stuff just in case you have a dog. Um, so I'll show you some of the dog stuff. So she has her own cooler pack here. She has a big cooler pack with a mini cooler pack. So in it, she has her food. I have a cup that can be a bowl. I have a um, poop bag. And then she has her life vest because we were thinking maybe we'd go to the little slide rock places and stuff like that. So I always put something like that on her. 
Um, she has her potty pads and let's see, a towel and her boots that I can put in the freezer to cool. And then antibacterial wipes. So if you have a dog, bring those things. And also remember, um, we did bring her crate. I will show you that. Um, oh, and this is the cooler we brought with the ice in it. Remember the ice is all in the freezer there, so this is empty now. And we did bring her collapsible crate. I'll show it to you, but she did actually bend part of it. It's over here in the corner. So that's her collapsible crate. You see she bent the front. Um, so like if we leave her again, cause now I'm worried cause she bent that, which she has not done ever in the past. We've had this crate for six years. Um, so she might've been spooked by something or freaked out cause she's in a new place. So just remember you can look up rover.com in your area and drop your dog off at doggy daycare, which is usually in somebody's house that's a dog care professional. I have been a Rover doggy daycare person for the past six years, so I've taken care of other people's dogs. You can find really nice people on there. They get reviewed. It's less nerve wracking to leave your dog with somebody than leave it alone at a place. And you should always have a crate. This, this Aspen one does collapse. Um, it has been really great. We've had it for six years, but she did try to jailbreak it. So I don't know if she got spooked. There was thunder. Um, that's my bottle of water on there. Um, so definitely bring a crate because you don't want to leave your dog in somebody's house. Um, and then what if the maintenance guy comes by and, and the dog runs out the door, the housekeeper comes by, the dog runs out the door. Um, cause you know, other people are coming by this house. Like we know Sunday morning, the guy cleans the jacuzzi and that people come. So Airbnbs aren't empty in between. They're being serviced by people. And sometimes the, ser the service people come during your stay at times where you're not there. Um, and so you want to crate your dog and also make sure that the dog is okay to bring because some, some Airbnbs are dog friendly and some aren't. So like I like to do, I will end on where we came in. Make sure you bring water, water bo bottles as well for yourself, as well as water bowls for your dog. That's one of my water bottles that's like refillable, you know, and these are the snacks. So thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn. Remember when you're going to an Airbnb, you're going to a house that has some condiments but does not have a fully stocked pantry. So be prepared to feed yourself. Okay, thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn in Sedona, Arizona.